Margaret, you have a very pretty plant on the cover of your book. Am I guessing this may be your favorite or one of your favorite flowers? It it looks, um, when you look at it, like a plant you wouldn't expect to find in an arid climate, an iris, which I tend to think of in the East Coast maybe or other areas. What, which is this? Yes, this is blue-eyed grass, which isn't a grass, of course. It is an iris. But it... Um, the leaves look like a grass. It, it's a monocot, and it has uh, basal leaves that are not that prominent. And then along the stem, they have at least two leaves coming out of nodes. So it's it's got leaves along the stem, and then the the flower again. It's the the tepals, sepals plus petals together. Uh, so you've got six tepals and then you've got three yellow stamens that are fused together into a tube with the, the stigma sticking out above that so the whole thing looks like a, a club or something and then it's whitish at the base of the petals when does it typically bloom beginning and end it is maybe march through May, maybe. And the habitats that you'll find it in are, are where? Throughout. Uh, coastal sage scrub, chaparral, and torrid pines inland to quite the distance. You can get it at Cuyamacas. So it, it has a wide range. So it's a, a pleasant surprise wherever you are. Good. The, the flowers can also be white. Is that a different subspecies or? No, it's, it's, it's just a, a genetic variation.